Today, we're gonna to show you the new Milwaukee Packout Compact Toolbox, model number 48-22-8422. So, let's get started. So uh, a little bit about this box. This box is gonna hold 75 pounds, they claim. I do not have 75 pounds worth of stuff to put in this uh, toolbox. So I can't really tell you if it will or if it won't, but I will tell you that this thing is built just as sturdy as all the other compact uh, boxes that you've probably got um, for your pack out. Or if you don't have them, go check them out because these things are real sturdy and they come in uh, real handy use of putting your tools and things like that, storing anything in it. So now uh, some people's gonna use this for electrical, some people's gonna use this for plumbing, just for the simple fact of you've got these cool trays and stuff that you can put in here. Uh, that come with it and then you've got dividers as well. Some people's gonna use actually this to store their circular saw or something like that of that nature. So uh, <clears throat> first thing you're gonna notice with this box whenever you pull it out is this cool handy feature here, this handle. And uh, once again, they claim this thing holds 75 pounds. So this handle is, <laughs> it's locked. This handle is real nice. Very nice handle to carry this thing with. Really like that they uh, added the handle to this. It makes it a lot, lot nicer of a box. Uh, the next thing you're gonna notice here at the front is you've got a metal reinforced locking point. And then you've also got a place to actually lock this as well. So we're gonna open this up here. We're gonna show you some tools that'll fit in this thing. Uh, I've got my brad nailer. I've got my seven and a quarter circular saw, grinder. These are some of the bigger tools I've got. Uh, so if these will fit, pretty much anything I've got will fit in this thing. The only thing I could not get to fit in this was my Sawzall. It's a 2720-20 model, but I could not get it to fit in here. So, you know, uh, take that into effect if you've got any of their other Sawzalls, they possibly will fit in there if they're a little smaller, like the Super Sawzall, things like that. The Hacksaws will fit in here with no issues, but I could not get my personal Sawzall to fit in this and to where the lid would close. So we've got this open here. Uh, the next thing you're gonna notice after you open it is they do have a location for you to mount your one key tick on the inside of this box. So another great feature. Then you've got an IP65 rated for a dust and weather resistant seal here. Upon opening the box, the first thing you're gonna notice is this cool little tray. And then on the inside, uh, you could have this completely open or you could, it comes with one big long compartment here and then you got four slide ends for here, here, here and here. The inside of this box without the dividers, uh, you're gonna be looking at nine inches wide. This is the, the room you're gonna get on the inside, guys. So you're looking at nine inches wide, 10 and three quarter inches tall, and then uh, 14 and a half inches long. So we're gonna pull these out here, these dividers. They're very easy to just slide right out. No big deal on that. Very nice. slide out the center part and you could use these for you know put them up in case you didn't need it if you do need it then they're there now we've got the seven and a quarter circular saw this fits in the box very nicely with plenty of room you can still add some tools and stuff in here but the circular saw does fit and it slides right down in there it takes up pretty much the whole bottom of the box but it fits right in there real nice your grinder is going to fit as well with a wheel on it and your handle. Slide that right in there. And then we've got the brad nailer. Now uh, this is the Gen 2 brad nailer that I've got. And so you are going to be able to take this and you'll be able to store it like this in there or like this in there. Or if you put this big piece down and face it straight up, then it will still fit and close the lid. If you try to set it like this, it's gonna fit perfect. 
I mean, just very nicely fit down in there. So you're gonna be able to quit, uh, put quite a few tools down in here. I mean, there's my grinder and my, my Gen 2 Brad nailer, and I've still got, you know, lots of room to add some stuff, some oscillating, you know, tools. Uh, I could probably fit a drill, probably fit a, a drill and a driver in there if I, you know, wiggled it all together somehow. But uh, there's a lot of room in this box for what it is. If you have any question guys feel free to comment down below let me know i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability uh, about this box um, i just wanted to give you all a pretty much a good overview of this let you know what it will hold what it will not hold msrp on this box is going to be 59.99 there's only a couple places i've seen you can get this box as of right now and that's tool nut and acme tools so uh, you know you can go and order it from their website 